And good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. My name is Helmut Smeshko, and I'm the founder of hostmarie.com. And today we will have a short, simple, and though explanatory video tutorial about how to create an email account from your Stack CP dashboard. Basically, this, uh, this tutorial is to all our uh, shared cloud users. Either you are using SSD cloud, Windows hosting, or WordPress Alter. So, uh, first things first, of course, uh, we have this demo demo account, Meletica.com, we just created recently for another tutorial. And I thought, okay, we'll use this one. So this is a fresh account. Nothing has been done. Just the name servers has, have changed. Before you do anything, before you do anything, please go, please go and make sure and make sure that the name servers have changed. Otherwise, nothing. Otherwise, nothing would work, and we can see that almost all the name servers have changed, except somewhere in states, in Paris. Okay, so this this is this is really important. So before you do anything, just make sure, just make sure sure that the name servers have changed. Only after that, start working on your on on your on your email and other things. If you are if you are a new user. Okay, I'll uh, but I'll jump in just for demo purposes. So we are going into email accounts, and let me take this one down. So we are at stackcp.com. You would log in, and again, please remember your login uh, username is your email. Yes, and your password, of course, is in your inbox. So you would go into email accounts. Here we are. And now it is very, very straightforward. So you would, if you have only one domain, it appears here. If you have added more domains, yes, then you would have more domains and you would choose under which domain you want to create your uh, your email address. One, uh, one thing before we start, please do not create emails info. Usually these emails are quite often called by spam filters. So we, I, I would suggest make something like hello, Make something like hello. Hello is quite quite new and wild. Uh, and or or admin, or admin or shop, or or let us say, or let us say uh, Sarah. Let us say Sarah. And you would click on create email account. And now you have to wait. Email account. Email accounts uh, successfully created. Please note it takes. So up up here. Up here, you will see, you will see uh, a, a password. I'm zooming out. Okay, you can change this password whenever you want. You can, you can take Sarah one five three. Let us say like this. Save. That would be your new password. Please, re please remember. Okay, I'll zoom in back. So email qu email quotes. Uh, so the size wise, by the default, every cloud shared cloud email address is limited uh, so the maximum size is 10 gigabytes but by the default every email is one gigabyte of the size as you start growing your email address please contact us and we will we will increase the size free of charge just just let us know the email addresses so you would need to go to hostmarie.com open a support kit and ask us to increase the size of email inboxes for and then you would say i need uh, please please increase the size for this email for this for that and the sizes would be five gigabytes ten gigabytes and stuff like that so this is it then you can create let us say helmets so that would be mine helmets okay and this is this is how you would create email addresses now how to check the email address there are two ways. One way, one way is to go here, options, and you would click into webmail. This br this will bring you directly into the inbox, directly into the inbox. Yes, it is a very important note. You need to wait for thirty minutes for email uh, for for email uh, address to, to start working. So please wait thirty minutes before you start sending anything in. So this is one way, and you can see this is stack mail. So whoever is admin, so if you are an admin at Stack CP, you are able to access every and any email without a password, like this. So you can create, 
emails for your team. Let us say you would create 10 emails and then you can go in each of them and check them like that. Also, for your uh, for your team members, let us say Sarah, let us give her a year. So test one, two, three, three, two, one. Let us test one, two, three, three, two, one. Okay. Copy, save. So for Sarah, if Sarah works at your company, you would you would tell her, please go to stackmail.com. She will go to stackmail.com, type in sarahmailetica.com. So that would be her, her email address, and then test one, two, three, three, two, one. Login. And Sarah would have her own access. These uh, these emails are this this uh, so the stack mail works really really fine on mobile phones as well on desktops. Just go and enjoy it. It is your free web mail, free web mail. So few more things, few more things, few more things. My suggestion: please do not create info. Please do not create info. Now, before I continue, there is a zero tolerance spam policy. So we have certain limits. We have certain limits that we make sure that the new users are not starting mass mailing. We have seen uh, already uh, oh, since since since, uh, since we have started offering the services, we have seen times by times spammers buy our hosting accounts and they are trying to start spamming their their users of starting to to use uh, emails or, or webmail as as their as their tool to send out to send out bulk emails and. Therefore, there are some. There are therefore there are some limits. I will put. If you want to read about limits, I will I will put a link in the description of this video about what are my what are my email sending limits, and there is a very very detailed description, and about about everything. So the quite 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 a lot of numbers. If it is important for you, go on please and go and read it. Yes, that is one. Then a few more things. So up here, we would see email forwarders. Email forwarders are very, very simple. So if uh, somebody sends an email to Helmut at mailetica.com, then it would be forwarded to hello at hostmarie.com. And it means every email that would be sent to me, to this, uh, to Helmut at mailetica.com would be would be also forwarded to my company email address. And you can remove it, you can add it. And remember, the copy would stay in, in, in the webmail as well. So the copy stays there. That, that is good. Catch all, catch all forwarders. And this is the third thing I will, uh, I, will, I will touch on. This is a really, really useful tool. Let us say you have a domain and you have had a team of 20 people. Now you have downside. Uh, downsized your company or over years you have had let us say 10 different email addresses and so you have come in and you don't really need those other emails and you will you want to have only only one email uh, only one email let us say you want to have only helmuts at mailetica.com so then you would you would come here and you would say anything so catch all forwarding will automatically forward any email sent to, to an email address that does not exist. So to an email address that does not exist, all you have to do is you would create your main email address. And then for anything else, you would do this one. You would do Helmuts. Helmuts at, Helmuts at Meletica.com or uh, Helmet, Helmuts at Meletica.com or you could do hello at hostmarie.com or in any any other. And these are, and this is says any email address, anything, yes? Any email address that is not created under your domain name will be sent to this uh, to this email address. And then you can remove it or add it. Why why it is uh, why it is useful? Sometimes uh, some of our customers are domainers. And the miners want to check the email addresses, uh, and so they, they want to. Sometimes, sometimes yes. Yeah, sometimes the miners buy domain names, and they want to check uh, the email addresses their previous owners have been using. That is the reality. For this reason, never ever drop your 
uh, business domain names, and then these and then these tools are used. All the, all the all the hosting, all the good decent hosting uh, dashboards will have this this option. So these were the three main three main tools, and I really hope that you will, you will enjoy it. And thank you for your attention. And please once again, please go and read this description on our knowledge base. The link will be the link will be in the description on what are my emails and links. Thank you. And this was a simple, simple video on how to create an email address at StackCP dashboard. And of course, if you are having any issues, please open a support ticket at hostmaria.com. Thank you and have a great, great day.